record now <clears throat> with a cough. Okay, just to talk a little bit about um, <clears throat> suicide. It's obviously a topic that my body doesn't like, but anyway. So suicide. Um, yes. Uh, so one of the things I, was I talked about suicide, for me, I was in active addiction. So to be in active addiction for me is unconsciously choosing suicide. When I was binging myself out in buffet restaurants, working like a lunatic in adrenaline addiction in the stock market, I was unconsciously choosing to eat and eat and eat and work like a lunatic because unconsciously I wanted suicide. I was trying to kill myself with that. So that's unconscious suicide. Um, and then uh, got kidney failure. And uh, I was asked about the banana episode. Uh, I call it banana side. Um, but anyway, I was, um, had kidney failure. I was a food addict. And the doctor said, um, avoid all high potassium foods, given a list of foods near the top of the list was bananas. So they don't, don't eat high potassium foods, you get a heart attack. Uh, you're at risk because you've got kidney failure. So, um, and then they released me from the hospital and I had had this deep spiritual experience, but my ego was still very, very strong. And it was like, as soon as they released me from the hospital, it was like, um, Basically, uh, as soon as they released me from the hospital, I just had this thing of like, well, you're going to buy a bag of bananas and eat them. And I knew where to buy a really big banana, bag of bananas. It was one of my binge foods. So I went, to, uh, so I did buy a big bag of bananas and I ate them. And I think uh, what was going on there it was like this kind of, I don't know, this kind of uh, mental voice in me saying, you're invincible, just have a bag of bananas, nothing will happen to you. So I just went out, had a huge bag of bananas. Then I had a blood test at the hospital and, and left the hospital. And then I had a call from A&E saying, come back, you're about to have a heart attack. We need to give you emergency treatment. So for me, that wasn't consciously trying to commit suicide. Um, and they gave me this, you know, they, that was another um, interesting story when they gave me treatment. Uh, but um, so that was what I call um, uh unconsciously wanting to commit suicide. It wasn't really, a, I didn't realize why I was eating those, but it wasn't a conscious thing. I wasn't eating the bananas to die at that time. So, uh, but something was very strong in me that just was told not to eat bananas and then ate bananas. And I wasn't really, I didn't really have the consciousness when I was in that state to realize that that wasn't a really good idea. Um, I did, there was only one time I actually consciously uh, wanted to commit suicide, and that was um, that was an interesting experience. Um, so I had kidney failure, and I was lying down, and uh, my kidneys weren't working, and my legs were starting to puff up and swell up. And I looked at my legs, and I was in this very very dark energy, this kind of gloomy, horrific, almost hellish type of dark gloom gloom type energy. I looked at my legs. Uh, obviously in a very low level of consciousness, and they seem like elephant legs. They seem like grotesque and hideous. And I thought, goodness, my kidneys are failing, uh, my body's collapsing, and um, there's no point to live. And it was like being on radio hell, basically. There's no point to live, just commit suicide. Of course, I'm a, I am a coward, and I thought then, you know, oh, well, yeah, okay, fair enough, commit suicide. But then another part of me didn't wanna, I wanted to die, but I didn't want to. Um, uh, I didn't want to die with pain. I wanted to die in a kind of idyllic, effortless way, where I just uh, do something like take. Just tell me exactly how many painkillers I need to take, so I'll just fall to sleep, and I'll never wake up and I'll be dead. But this idea of just waking up and doing a botch job and just being in agony and having to live in agony after just doing a really terrible uh, suicide job was quite haunting. And then I had this idea, it was the 1990s, the early days of, of the internet. It was very, very early days. It wasn't anything like what we've got now, no, a very rudimentary search engines. And uh, so I, I then thought, well, maybe there's a website which will tell me how to do the perfect suicide effortlessly and painlessly. So I looked up, I did a lot of searching online and I found a website which was selling a book, which was like, I don't know, something like 30 ways to commit suicide. 
I thought, yes, I found it, an expert telling me how to commit suicide and the guaranteed ways where I wouldn't do a botch job. So um, I went to press pay to the payment option and it said, uh, you'll have to wait, I think it was something like 90 days before you receive your book, if you pay for it. And then I was just like, I was just taken out of that dark energy and I saw you know, the universe didn't want me to commit suicide. And I just came out and that was the only time but for me, the energy of committing suicide is just uh, if I, you know, it was basically the wreckage of coming out of addiction, then getting kidney failure, and then being in a very dark energy. It wasn't the thoughts were coming out of just being in a very negative energy and seeing darkness everywhere and feeling darkness, being this kind of very hideous, there's no hope gloom kind of energy, which I'm sure I was just tuning into the very low vibrations and being my mind was being taken over by those dark thoughts and being told that there's no point just commit suicide you know luckily uh, i'd also had spirit you know something was there looking after me and there was uh you know and synchronicities and miracles were happening to make sure while i was in those dark energies that i couldn't uh, sort of execute those things so you know getting into hawkins work it was quite clear that all miracles are possible. I just need to get that very strong connection to God through processing and clearing and cancelling everything, which which did happen. And that was only once in my life. But uh, for anyone who feels suicide, it, it's a low vibration. And, uh, you know, just uh, pursue spiritual tools with absolute conviction and absolute ferocity. And the vibration goes up. And uh, I've never had, the, I've never gone to those dark levels again because the light was leading me to a place uh, of light through works like Dr. Hawkins, Course in Miracles, 12 Steps. Okay, so I'll stop there. There are 